seconds to get over here. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother. Here you found us again, it's Weeby Tailing for a special gut-wrenching edition of Weeby Tailing. I hope not. I'm Captain Eric Hasty, and this is... Chef a one ton. <laughs> tonight you will be. <laughs> we're gonna have a good show for you tonight. Uh, as usual, we're shooting live in beautiful downtown Inglis inside Captain's Cove Outfitters. Um, it's not raining, it's not sunny. Perfect. Temperature is the adequate. Wind, the wind yeah. is beautiful. No wind on us yeah, at all. I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> so we have a um, show planned. Yep. I can't tell how it's going to go, but we do Whoa. have a show planned. <laughs> this could be different. Yep. <laughs> so we got the weekend fishing spotted by our meme contest sponsored by Bonnie with State Farm. And our topic tonight you're going to eat what? So, uh, there's an old adage, somebody <laughs> in the beginning, now we're going back to the beginning, the beginning, beginning to the apple. We know what happened after somebody ate the apple. Oh, but we lost a rib. Somebody, <laughs> yeah, we lost a rib. Somebody had to try it to start with. Now, whether they ate it raw, because they didn't have fire right away, they ate raw meat back then. Sure. I mean, yep. we shall see. So tonight, we're going to eat sushi of the inshore species variety. Mm. Uh, we had set this up to originally have uh, somebody come in and do this for us while John and I do our normal shtick. Um, there were some technical difficulties. We tried a couple of replacements. We had a couple of back outs. So um, John. Chef a wonton. Chef wonton. Mm -hmm. Or one John. Wonton. <laughs> He's going to do his best. So. I'm going to do my best to be a sushi chef. It takes years go. to master this. It does. That's what I've heard. It does. And I'm going to do it all in 20 minutes. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's, 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 it's as quick as we can get it. You know, so we figure, uh, I think basically everybody was scared that if, if we did get sick, they didn't want to be responsible. I think that could be. So now I can yep. blame they you. They backed out. Now you can blame me. <laughs> 
John, that doesn't feel so good. <laughs> this has the potential. I already don't feel good. <laughs> this has the potential to be really good. Oh, and really it'd bad. Start a new trend, or, or it could be yeah. really bad. <laughs> we do not, we do not stand by eating raw material. That's the little disclaimer there thing. We go. So, yeah, yeah this, this is just us being doofuses. Well, John, let's see if anybody's even on here watching. Oh boy, <laughs> I see there's a, a few comments on there. So Bobby's on there, first one here for the food. He says, "Oh, come on down." Just food. send us on. We saw you last night. It's been a long time. It was good to see you. Lara is on. Ralph, what's up, buddy? Bonnie with State Farms watching. There's Dale. Got to see you last night. Uh, Tyler saw you last night. There's We've got something worse than Ladyfish. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. There, there's Russell. Well, it might not be. We, we uh, won't know. I don't know. <laughs> we, we don't know. We have some preconceived ideas on what uh -huh. this is going to taste like, but <laughs> we won't know till you know. You That's know? right. You never know. <laughs> Somebody once tried an oyster. There you go. Think about it. <laughs> Somebody so there, actually tried one. There you go. A couple go. of them might have died, but a couple of them did try it. <laughs> uh, so Russell's on. What's up, buddy? Kev Dog could have used your help in trivia oh, last night. Oh, boy. Yeah. I take it we didn't win. Ne next week, Kev Dog. Next yeah. week. <laughs> I take it oh, we lost. Where did we go? Stephanie's on there. Howdy. Rich is on there. Denise saw you last night. <laughs> no ladyfish. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Chris is on. We saw you Ooh. as well. Doug saw you last night. Casey, good to see you. Uh, Ty, Jerry, we saw you last night. There's Dan. Let's see. Oh, goodness. All right. Well, good deal. So we got some people on here, John. <laughs> it's gonna, it's gonna be interesting. They're gonna watch to see if we get the scoots. It's oh, well, 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 hopefully we don't uh, get the scoots did immediately. Did you buy any ammonium or anything? What'd you get? No, no, no. But we we got the barf. Got? We got the barf bucket. Okay. So I mean, if it's bad, we'll yeah. you know, yeah. and, and Does we'll that just that need see. a disclaimer yeah. too? If we go, uh, uh, if we pull a, what was that guy on that movie? Um, the little kid that walked into the thing and he went, Oh, the Goonies. Yes. Yeah. The Goonies. So awesome. Uh, <laughs> is there something wrong with it? I like this kid, Bob. Uh. Huh. So we've uh, we've made some progress aye, 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 and aye. Uh, looking at what we did last week. So last week we, we put the comments up on the screen. I think I like it. Everybody seemed to like it. Uh, we just had a temporary just background. Uh, we, we've got more of a... I call this kind of a Captain Nemo background. You know, we kind of got the blues and the golds and uh, the, the little fish swimming in the background, you know. And I so didn't even call to see what you were wearing, and we wore the same thing. We did. What? I didn't even call. To, to be honest with you, these, these clothes were my setup clothes while we were setting everything up, oh, and, and I didn't get out of them. my setup clothes. You just so. left them? We ran out of time. <laughs> so we, we did run out of time. Yeah. There's a lot going on tonight. You there know, is so. a lot. John's <laughs> got to go do a lot. There you go. Uh, so... Basically, we've got a couple of tabs down there at the bottom, latest subscriber. So uh, if somebody subscribes while we're on the show, an alert should pop up, and then their name will be there. And then we got something down here on the bottom called Latest Tipper. Now, we have found that um, if you're on YouTube and you see our video and then the comments uh, or the description, there'll be a link down there. And if you like what we do, click on that link and it gives you an opportunity to give us a little bit of tip. It's no big deal if you do or you don't. It's just there. It was something we could add in. And uh, like I said, if you appreciate what we do and you think you're doing a good job, throw us a little tip. If not, it doesn't hurt our feelings at all. It was just something we were able to do and we put it on there. What if they write and in a And it's cool. Tip? Write in a tip? Yeah, you know, like the bad tip, you suck. Well, well, that's what the comment section is. Oh, okay. <laughs> They've been able to do that forever. <laughs> One time, bad chef. <laughs> yeah, so All I right. need to go start cooking. So you, well, I'm it's not here. cooking, but yeah, go, go do what you're going to do. I've got to finish this. <laughs> so, so like I said, we got a lot going on this evening, and um, I'm going to try to handle up on it, and we'll take looks, uh, or we'll take cuts over to John. John's over there right now. So, John, there, there, there he is. Uh, <laughs> so show us, take, hit your button, John. Oh, one ton chef. They gave me a knife. This might not be good, but uh, so far, I've already got a beautiful setup here. I mean, oh, that almost looks professional. Just like a pro John the King. But um, I'm fixing to uh, cut up uh, some fishies. Oh, boy. Um, you have no idea what that one is, John, but uh, we'll Yikes. figure it out. <laughs> hmm. 
Well, back to Eric. <laughs>
Essentially what we do is we have you take a picture of yourself holding the fish and a fish or a picture of you with the fish on the stick so we could see how long the fish is. Uh, the topic or the subject fish this, uh, this month was the sheep's head. It was round two of the sheep's head because we did it last month as well and uh, we followed through. And our previous winner from the belt was Captain Andrew, speaking of him speaking last night, but there he goes. Uh, last month, he had a 22 and a quarter inch sheep's head for the win. And that's, uh, that was uh, it's pretty cool. It's nice to get a good size one. Um, the, the larger ones that we've been catching, seems like over the years, we started out catching 24, 25s, no problem. Then it got to 22s. And now if you catch a 20 to 21, you're doing pretty good. So um, that, that was a pretty good one. We had some entries last week where uh, fish were looking pretty good. Laura, uh, Laura turned in not one, but two in the span of a week, so that was fine. But we did have uh, another one turned in this week. And let's get to that right here. There we go. It's, it's Andrew yet again. <laughs> with Andrew. Andrew again with a 20 and a half right now. So... Uh, now Andrew thinks he's a sheephead fish. Now, what's I, up with that? I guess so. So Andrew, uh, Andrew's come in. It, that thing almost looked twenty-one, but he called it uh, twenty and a half, and that does put him in the lead by a quarter of an inch. So uh, we've got a few days. Today's the the twenty-third. So we've got a few more days to get out there and get the big one. I know. Uh, I think Doug said he had another good one, and 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 then Andrew caught one that was bigger. So it kind of shut Doug down again. So. Yeah, poor Doug. So what we're looking for is you to catch a sheep's head, take a picture of you holding it, put it on the stick, and then send those pictures to myself at Captain Eric Hasty at gmail.com, Shasty McNasty Fishing on Facebook, or you could text it to 352-220-3206, and uh, we can make you a belt champion. Um something we've been doing for a while and uh, we have fun with it uh, there's no money or anything involved in it it's bragging rights but it's a lot of fun so uh john how's it going over there i have finished my uh second uh sushi roll with a new kind of uh fish in it and um oh boy i uh <laughs> all i can say is, is i'm having fun doing it Let's hope I'm not having fun up at 2 o'clock in the morning doing it. <laughs> All right. And with, <laughs> and with that, we're, <laughs> we're, we're back and, and moving right along. So we have a Captain's Corner this week coming to you from uh, uh, Captain Julie. Uh, again, everybody is a captain of their own vessel uh, with Captain's Corner. We primarily, uh, we want you to take a up to 30 second video filming with your phone sideways like this so it looks more like a video and not just like taking a picture uh we make you youtube famous for all of 15 to 30 seconds and uh as famous as uh, we be tailing can make you and uh we we got a good one from um from from captain julie so let's take a look and see what she's got there hi i'm julie kelly and out here with my husband Ken Kelly, who's captaining me today, put me on a beautiful 27 inch redfish here in Ozello. And uh, yeah, on a shrimp. And it was a sh straight shank hook. So, having a pretty. All right. Well, thank you. Looked like it might have cut off a little bit early there. She was still talking, but um, that, that's what she sent. So, we do appreciate it. Oh. Uh, Man, that was a good sized fish. Looked like Ozello was blowing up. Uh, so, man, which Ozello's this time of year is usually pretty good. Hell, it's good all the year, but or all types of the year, parts of the year. But uh, in the wintertime, it really does shine with those negative low tides and that shallow, shallow warm water. So, uh, so good job. Again, just like with the belt, if you'd like to send one in, that's Captain Eric Hasty at gmail.com. Shasty McNasty Fishing at Facebook and text it to 352-220-3206. There we go. All right, guys. So let us know in the comments what, what do you think about our new backdrop here. That's, um, that's pretty neat, I think. Yeah, I think it looks pretty good. Still needs a little bit of tweaking. We need to line some things up. But we're, we're heading in a direction. Let us know what you think. Laura, I was almost famous. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> 
Ah, uh, there we go. Uh, <laughs> nice, Julie. So there we go. So we got everybody. We, we like it when uh, all, all the positivity comes through right there. That's great. There we go. Holy smoke. Nice. I like that. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Whoops, in my mind, you were the winners. <laughs> there we go. It's a good deal. All right, so having fun. Let's see. It's time to get to um, the memes. John, you doing all right over there? Yeah, I'm I hit the wraps up. I don't know that I want to wrap, but hey, it's going to be a wrap in a minute. <laughs> it's be a wrap. Back to you, Eric. <laughs> We do have some not so pleasant fish, and then we've got some fish that we would think would be pleasant and we hope, hope to be pleasant. So that's the great thing about doing this is we have some notions of how these are going to be, but the, the nastiest fish we've got in there may be the best. You never know until you try. So we're definitely looking forward to it. Okay, so all the words look blurry to me. So, Jessica, is that the words in the text or is that the words down at the bottom below? Because, again, you know, we're just uh, we're, we're trying to figure all this out. John's having a blast. He sure is. John, John, believe it or not, loves to do this kind of stuff. And, um, you know, I, I, secretly, I think he was hoping that everybody would back out on us so, so, he, so he'd get to do this. So that's that's fine. So... So good deal. So it is time for the meme contest. We did get a couple of memes come in this week. Uh, again, to vote for your meme, you need to go back to the YouTube videos that uh, have already been live. Go back to those. In the comments section, there's a section that says place your vote here. If you liked meme number one, two, three, four, five, whatever it is, you just type in meme one, meme two, meme three. That is how you vote. Uh, we have very few votes so far, and I don't know if that's because people are not able to figure it out or we're just not getting a lot of participation. I don't know. <laughs> so, um, like I said, as these are new to us with um, YouTube, you know, on Facebook, folks were really getting that figured out and getting all their votes in. And, and I think you could do the same thing you did there to motivate people to come and vote for you. You just It's just YouTube instead of Facebook. So, uh, again... Go to the past video in the comments. There's a section that says put your vote here and, and vote for just type in meme one, whatever the, the meme may be. So the meme contest is sponsored by Bonnie with State Farm. If you haven't got a quote with her yet, give her a call at 352-484-0905. And I guarantee she will do everything in her power or her team will to save you the money that you want to say hopefully <laughs> she she does great she's helped out a ton of our tailors already uh she definitely helped me out and um like i said nice nice savings uh good coverage we love her <laughs> she's great give her a call uh, before we get into the memes bonnie's got something going on uh the uh strawberry festival is coming up here um uh, saturday march 5th and this is in Ocala. I guess it's put on by the Habitat for Humanity. And uh, Bonnie with State Farm does have a big to do, you know, with this. So um, she'd like for you to uh, come out and see everybody. So that's that's pretty cool. So uh, Strawberry Festival, Saturday, March 5th, uh, 9 to 5. Come out, have a good time and enjoy. So John, how's it going over there, buddy? Believe it or not. I may have some Japanese now. <laughs> Back to you, Eric. <laughs> Always having too much fun. So let's get into our, uh, well, beforehand, uh, Bonnie has donated this wonderful BG Combo fishing rod. Ready to go. It is spooled up. Uh, I don't know what pound that is, but it is spooled up. I imagine if Jim did it, it's probably 30 pound, but... Uh, this is the BG Combo, and it is ready to go. It is ready to fish. That is a, let's see. There it is. Hell, $150 value right there. That is pretty cool. So, guys, uh, all you had to do was get your memes in and, and get uh, somebody to vote on it. Uh, <laughs> so, so, here we go. Let's go with... Uh, 
Let's go with a couple of memes that we got in this week. Here's the newest one. I'm too sexy for these fish. Whoa. Yep, there we go. I don't we... need to see that one. What the heck? Where'd you stick that one in? I'm too sexy for this fish. So that is meme number eight, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, meme got number eight. Girl or guy holding that? Um. I don't know what they identify as, but it, it did look like a gentleman in that okay. picture. All right. <laughs> so, we'll that. yeah, yeah, we, we the, the, these identity things anymore. Oh, you you can't right. really yeah. call people yeah, boys or girls, you yeah. know. So, okay. there we go. So Look that that, that was meme number eight. <laughs> so, and then uh, meme number nine, John. Here we go. Uh, this says, John. This is why I practice catch and release fishing, or uh -oh. catch and release today. Uh -oh. <laughs> so, uh -oh. I don't know if that's Siggy the Sea Monster or something like that. I, I do remember that from the the seventies, right there. But oh, there boy, again, this me, this is John stating this is why I practice catch and release today. <laughs> so there we oh, go. So oh, so John, John's gonna come back over. John, John's gotta come this, see because. Uh, I'm not privy to this kind of stuff, but uh, 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 let me see that. Let, let me get back to it. Hold on. I got a sticky rice. Uh, there we go. <laughs> so there we go. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that. That's yeah. kind of funny. So I, I, I do remember that from my 70s childhood. Uh, like I said, I don't remember if that was Siggy, Sigmund, something like that, but something to see, Monster, I recall. I think put, put it in the comments if you know exactly who that was because... Uh, it's hard trying to remember all this stuff, John. Getting old. Getting old. All right. So there we go. So again, um, it's getting late to kind of send in your memes unless you're super good at getting a, a bunch of followings and votes. But if you want to send in another one, there you go. We've mentioned it again. Captain Eric Hasty at gmail.com. Shasty McNasty Fishing on Facebook and 352-220-3206. If you want to get one in, we have just till the end of the month to get your voting completed. So um, that's fun. And again, Bonnie uh, with State Farm, thank you so much. Give her a call, and we will see uh, see what we could do for you. Uh, John, we mentioned last week that we have a new sponsor I picked up. And uh, if I pick it up, that means it's good for the show. Um, and that is Salt Life. And Salt Life is running a special right now. They're calling it their Thaw Out Sale. Uh, you get uh, an extra 50% off sale items with a code W-I-N-T-E-R-50. And that is through today. So wow. <laughs> you you got till today. Yeah. <laughs> so that, uh, right yeah, you, you, again, that is winter 50. If you put that in the, uh, in the code, you'll get an additional 50% off sale items that they have. Uh, and again, that's just a few more, uh, few more hours left. So hit them up after the show and see if, uh, you know, you can get a few dollars, a uh, few dollars off on some Salt Life uh, products, uh, materials, shirts, uh, even some nice goodies like my, my water cup here. I needed, I needed a lot of sipping right here. You know, John's not here, you know, doing, you know, all that wandering on talking. So, hey. <laughs> so yeah, now. can't push the button on you now. So do, doing a lot of talking tonight. Put so. It over here. Put it over there, and we're coming to John. <laughs> See, John has ADD. It's just the way that I am. I'm doing something, so I don't have to worry about all that talking. So all you got to do is give me something to do. I'm good. Back there. <laughs> oh, if I only would have known, we could have had him playing tiddlywinks or something <laughs> on the show to keep him back. What are those, John, what are they, fidget spinners or something the kids like to play with? <laughs> keep me there you go. Really few. So we got into some trips, John, and let's get into those here. We did do some, uh, we did do some fishing. So, uh, man, where, where, there it is. Always got to, always got to find the right button there. All right. So real quick, because we want to get to this sushi right here. We took these guys out on Friday, and uh, we were out there fishing. Uh, they wanted the sheep's head fish, but the weather was a little bit too rough to get out there, so we went fishing for reds. Uh, we caught a bunch of fish, but these were the three keepers that we caught. Poor Dan, uh, he was the only one to not get a keeper, but uh, these guys had fun. Uh, 
liquored up pretty good. They had a good time. Yeah, <laughs> so, a time. And, uh, you know, good, good time. Now, that day, the fog came in on us. And, I mean, when I was uh, – we're sitting on one island, one mangrove island, and you couldn't see the next mangrove island over. It was really thick. That was an interesting afternoon. So uh, fishing should have been off the chain, which it was. It was just hard finding uh, the right keepers right there. But uh, we had a good time. They got back in, and not only did they, they party with us on the boat, they left us, and they went straight to Tampa to <laughs> party that evening. So, God, it's good to be young, John. Yeah. <laughs> to be young again. Yep. Saturday we had a trip and this was a little bit different trip for me so this was uh i had six people on the boat so i had three adults and three small kids and uh, i was two grandparents the mother and then the small kids and they just wanted the kids to have fun they wanted the kids to catch some fish and really just have a blast so uh, when I get kids like that, immediately we're going to go to the mangrove holes and we're going to catch mangroves. So uh, once they got the hang of it, um, these these young kids were from New Jersey. I think this might have been the first time they were ever fishing. Once they kind of got the hang of what they were doing, they caught some fish. They had a blast. And towards the end of the day, uh, the, the middle child, he actually uh, messed up and caught a keeper red. So uh, he, he was very proud of that. And uh, here's uh, here's some shots of that. So. Um, keeper red right there he he was thrilled and there's the kids so you know it's not always you know we get a trip like that where we just get to really go out and have fun and the uh the adults were very happy that i was very patient and good with the kids and i try to be as much as possible <laughs> for the, for those of you who know me that you know that you know that's uh kids sometimes could be uh you know a handful but i did well and and they appreciated and we had a really good time so that was fun uh, John had a couple of, uh, he went out Saturday and Sunday, and he had some fun. Let's get uh, to that right there. This is a group shot of just kind of everything thrown together. So he had a real nice red on Saturday. I think he was fishing with our buddy Frost, uh, one of a good, good Taylor friend of ours. And then on Sunday, he did some fishing with uh, his wife, Missy, and uh, they got some fish there as well. So uh, just good times, uh, did well. None of these are the fish that we'll be eating this evening, so uh, so that was fun. Um, good time, good trips. Always looking for more. Um, just good time, John. How, how's it going over there, buddy? So, I got one more roll to make, and I'll be done. That's not bad because I made one, two, three, four, five species of fish, five rolls. I've never hand rolled in my life. I've made sushi at the house, but it was always sashimi. This is my first time ever rolling, honest to goodness, a roll myself. Everything was made sashimi at my house, so it was just cut something up. But I think I'm kind of proud with myself. The, the presentation looks okay. The rolls are not the best in the world, but uh, we know what they are. And uh, if you can see right there, that really doesn't, I mean, that's not too bad for a rookie. So. Chef Wonton's doing okay, and uh, back to you, Eric. <laughs> the thing is, is it looks good from here, John. <laughs> it looks oh, good it's, from it's, here. It's a ten footer. <laughs> See, <laughs> never mind, not going there. <laughs> I, 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 I almost did it, but I, I pulled back on the reins. I did not want another trophy wife situation. Paint job, Eric. Paint job. I pulled back on the rain. So hold on just a second, John. There it is. We, we put the brakes on that one. <laughs> oh, got to love it. All right. So, John, you and I went fishing yesterday yes, for the for the fish that uh, the fish are. that uh, <laughs> and, and, and we'll show a picture of that here in just a minute. But you and I went fishing yesterday. We had some fun. It's not very often that you and I get to fish much uh, anymore, but uh, it's always a good time. We had some fun, and we'll talk about that here in a little bit. But uh, let's get into Spotted by John. Go. Uh, we spotted Doug. Doug, I was told, finally caught a fish on his bucket list, the old hogfish, uh, commonly known as a hog snapper, which it is not a snapper, but a lot of people call it that. But that is a beautiful fish, excellent eating. 
Um, fine, fine fish to have on your bucket list, and Doug knocked it out of the park with that one. Nice fish, Doug. Good job. Uh, man, that is one of my finest eating fish that I like here out of the Gulf. Just a good eating fish. Then we spotted, uh, we don't always just do the saltwater, John. We spotted Shane right here, and uh, he's got one of them crappy crappies, one of them specks, you know. <laughs> so we, uh, we we don't hate on the freshwater. We, we bring it in from time to time, and, uh, and there he is. He's got his king hat on, so he's king crappie, I think the post said, something to that effect. So uh, looking good there on the freshwater. Now, this next one is something we don't do often because spotted by is for the average angler. It, it's not for captains. Captains have their own pages to do all their, you know, social media and all that. But we're breaking the rules this time, John. Okay. And we're breaking the rules because um, this was kind of cute, I guess, you know, and it kind of went with that whole Valentine's mushy, you know, stuff, you know. What, oh, I God. know, I know. Here we go. <laughs> So here we go. We spotted this couple right here because Dave with Aquatic Nutrition, he seemed to have caught him the keeper right there. Uh, I guess he must have asked Misty, uh, Misty to... Uh, to do something with them there, and she said yes. Yeah. So, so we spotted them. That's the catch of the week, right there. Our very <laughs> so, own Dave. Our very own Dave with Aquatic Nutrition. Uh, you know, we love those guys over there. So, congratulations to David and Misty, uh, Cat Misty. There, uh, you can find her out of the plantation as well. And um, that's just downright cute, John. Just uh, downright cute. Yeah, it was. He was waiting for the right opportune time. To right. ask her to marry him, all and right. uh, he had to get her set up just right. People filming, getting it all down, and boom, yeah, just like that, he got her done. Well, we're coming to you, John. What's it look like over there? John. Well, it sounds like John's getting ready to bring us over some fish, so it must be topic time. <laughs> All right, as as we as we await this coming over, this must be mine right yeah, here. Yours. Okay, there we go. Oh meow. Did you got the wasabi? Uh, it's all right there in your plate. Oh, oh, okay, I see it. There we go. Great. That little rose looking thing on your plate. <laughs> all right, the little rose. All right. Yep. So uh so here we go. Um, wow, it is really hard to kind of tell. You can't tell what it is. What What is what right here? I made um, it that way on purpose because yeah. uh, you're not going to be able to tell exactly what you're eating there. So do you know what it is when I eat it so you could tell me after the fact? Uh, not really. I forgot. Oh, sweet Jesus. I'm sorry. The, the one thing that you I, need to I, do. I know what it is. You know what it is. I know what you're fixing to eat. Okay. I, I memorized your plate only. <laughs> All right. So I got a little thing of uh, got a little thing of soy sauce in front of me. So I'm going to I'm gonna go ahead and gonna uh, douse it up? W wasabi it up here a little bit because I, I do like the wasabi. <sighs> and if anything, if there's anything horrible in this, maybe the wasabi will kill it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it maybe. I better do that too then. <laughs> I better I better doctor up this here. Ho, 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 ho. Um, mm. um, this could get ugly, bro. John, I'm scared. I am too. I'm not going <laughs> to lie to you. Look, I have no responsibility for what's about to happen to him or me at that matter of fact and um do we have the ambulance on ready outside <laughs> it is after all beautiful downtown we are in beautiful Aren't downtown right down the road? are they right down the road if we got to run out we, we request that if john or i go down somebody yeah. please, please call 911 please, please come get us <laughs> oh my god break down the door because yep. it is Ooh. locked yep you gotta, <laughs> oh man <laughs> 
But very interesting. I didn't do too bad, I guess. I mean, it's not the prettiest so, thing in the world. Can, but, can uh, you tell which are the same so you and I are eating the oh, same no, one? no, no, no. They're all the same. So all three. So this is a roll. This is one fish, two fish, three fish, four fish, five fish. I get okay. it. But are, I want to eat the same roll that you're eating. Everything. What I'm stating. So like this right here, These are that, that's the same. That's the same. That one in the middle is the same. This one on that side is the same. And that one on the bottom is the same. Okay. okay? So if you want to start with the left hand corner <laughs> go ahead and eat that lemon on the left hand corner this one here yeah eat that one here i'll eat one two at the same time mm, no, good. Ah, yeah. that's not how this works no yeah. no 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 go ahead all right no and we're gonna do it at the same time oh no 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 no. we're oh, doing no. this at the no, same I time i have to give cpr if you go down oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> and you're not gonna get much out of that from me John. hold on hold on we yeah. know what we forgot we better know. have something you got a drink I do. I have a drink. Okay, yes, I, I have a drink, and I have the the spittoon. If it's yeah. horrible. No offense, but I have to buy another one in Captain Cove. Five yep. drinks there, I'm doing. Yep. I may need something to wash this hair down with, you know, just in case. I'm now, not, I'm not contemplating on this, but this could happen. Now, now John, here, here were our species. This, this, uh, this is what we're eating tonight. So right. we, we, we've got the sea bass, the mangrove, a red, a permit, and the jack crevel. Uh, uh, the, these were the eaters that we caught on um, yesterday's trip. And we did this, <laughs> this was done on purpose because we don't like killing big fish. So we no, did, no, no. what we, we did was, is, is we took precisely what was legal. The to tenderloins, keep, the young yeah, ones, the young the ones, veal. You know, that, that way we're not killing a big red, you right. know, a 27 inch tournament red. That they take in and weigh many times, put a, put a tag in. We just took, well, heck, I didn't catch any of them. You caught them all. All I could catch was bulls. So, yeah. you know. But uh, top left, go for it, bro. Uh, hold on, I didn't. I don't even know that we looked at that. Yeah, we. Uh, where was? Uh, hold on, <laughs> let's see. We didn't. Uh, was this it here? Was that? Nope, that wasn't it. Dang, uh, nabbit. Where was? Uh, shoot, I might not. I might not even got it in there. Well, oh. you, but you did have that big bull, and I you had did that, have a big one. You had that yeah. funky. I, eel. I could only catch big <laughs> fish and. People were wanting us to eat the eel, but I just couldn't kill it. It yeah. was kind of cool. So, all right. So, John. All right, so, what are they? Again. What's the saying? Open the doors. Open the hatch. Here comes the airplane. What is this? I don't know. Your mom. I don't know. All right. So, what do you think? I don't know either. Oh, that was Robbie's. Excellent. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I mean, on a scale to one to ten, a seven. It's not horrible. It's not horrible, but I can definitely taste a fish. It's not horrible. It's not horrible. Yeah. I, I mean, I, I'm, I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, gonna, gonna do try. another just yeah, to, you know, just, do, just, yeah. just, this is the same one. Yeah, yeah. You know. If I had to say, it's kind of a cross between a salmon and a yellowtail. Does that, I mean, like a salmon and a yellowtail cross taste? I'd go as far to say as it's good. Oh, it's good. It's good. But, I'm, you know, salmon and yellowtail is good. Yeah, no, no, no. But, so, this is... but it's a cross between a salmon and a yellowtail. It is. Um, it's very I mean, creamy is a weird description yeah, for it, it's but, but the fish is buttery. It's creamy. Yeah, that, 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 that's good. All right, so what, what did I just eat, John? I forgot. <laughs> that was the redfish, bro. Well, it was the redfish. Wow. Okay, all right. So, so, wow. so the rumor train had it that the redfish wow. was good. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and eat the third one. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> yeah, so. No, that's not good. All right. So, I mean, we're not. Now, look. So this this, this is the redfish. Pay yeah. attention, guys. We're not trying to get y'all to start yeah. eating redfish on the boat, but holy mackerel, is that good. And it's not mackerel. Wow. Dude. Ooh, wasabi. Oh, you got some wasabi? Oh, <laughs> that was a good one. Open nose. <laughs> All right. Holy wow. mackerel, bro. Wow. All right, so dude, if that was the red, as you say, yes. that was fantastic. 
fantastic. That was, that was good. That was good. All I right. would give that a buttery, creamy, like yellowtail slash maybe salmon-y type taste. I'm going to give it that. Okay? All right. All right. So, so somebody on there says, told you. <laughs> oh, snap. Yeah, my, <laughs> the, the, my, the wasabi got my eyes watering, yeah. so I could see the told wow, you, but th dude. that one color, I can't that see who that amazing. was. amazing. Oh. Oh, my gosh. What have we done here? All right. So we're All right. We can stop now. <laughs> we're brought to you by Aquatic Nutrition I, and Flats Magic. I, I feel like it goes downhill from here. I, I think so. I, 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 I think oh, we're done. Wow. I'm going to drink me a little Coca-Cola and I'm out on this gig. Why, why didn't we do that one last, John? <laughs> I didn't know it was going to be that good. Wow. Oh, no. All right. Okay. Top right. Here we go. So the top. Okay. Top so right. This one here. Yep. All right. Uh, this is a very, another iridescent in color fish. Dude. This one has more texture. Oh my gosh. Bro, that's good. Dude, I love that one. That's better than the other one. What have we done here? I'm going to start killing fish. If I don't this die. This one is not creamy like the last one. No, but it's good. Holy mackerel, bro. It has... This one is a fishier taste. Yep. Um, I'm, I'm going to get another one here. Yeah. Again, yep, this, is yep. the same, this is the same species. Wow, bro. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Okay, um, it, it is. It's it, it's not bad. So, it, it is good. Um, I like the butteriness, the creaminess of the of red the first fish. One. This one has a. If I had had this one first, yep, I, I might have been like, okay, that's that that's surprisingly good. But because the first one was so damn mm -hmm. good, this one to me isn't as good. You you seem to really like it. Yes, I like it. That uh, what what was this one? Rock bass. So this was the sea bass. Okay, sea bass. All right, so. Um, I expected this one to be good, mm -hmm. and it is good. It's it, good. The texture is a little, it's a little different. Different, no. but the uh, the, the but taste is good. good. Yeah, but yeah. you can definitely you think about it in your head. Can you not taste rock bass? If you, I mean seriously, think about that in your head for a second. Smell and taste. You can taste rock bass. You see what I'm saying? It's there. Isn't that it's, weird? It's it, not redfish, you know. You know, no, no, taste no. it. No. You know what I'm saying? You can taste it. Rock bass. Kind of odd, huh? That one just has a a straight not, flavor. It is a straight it, flavor. That There's one no I know that I'm mixture. eating. That one I know I'm eating fish. fish. Yeah. Yes. So I mean, not that it's super fishy. Not yeah, anything because it is fishy. good. Yep. If I hadn't ate the red first, that one that probably would have been, been excellent. But then it, the redfish yep. would have blown it out of the water. Okay. Let okay, me, let, me clean, so, let me clean my yeah, palate. Yes, yeah, we uh, we forgot the, uh, what's that stuff called? The daikon, radish, whatever. Oh, uh, well, that or the ginger. Or what? Well, what is this up on the, what is what is this? Uh, those are um, cucumbers. Bats, cucumbers, yeah. Oh, okay, well, maybe. Oh, yeah, the cucumber might cleanse the palate. Yeah, kind of. Okay. Get up. Palate. Oh, it did. We're, it eating, we're eating inshore sushi on That's Weeby right. <laughs> and, and, and made by John. <laughs> my stomach doesn't hurt yet. I don't think it's going to be that immediate. Oh, it's not, no, with John, it's immediate, bro. I don't know. I think I've got like a gigantic yeah. tapeworm, and he pushes it through real fast, and yep. he tests me really bad. All right, All right so where so are we at now? Right side. So right to here. the right. Yep. So so we've knocked out redfish and the yep. sea bass. Sea bass and redfish. I'm, I'm getting nervous as we <laughs> <laughs> You better get nervous. All right. Oh, here gosh. we go. All right. Species mm. number three. Oh my gosh, that's good, bro. That's that's mellow, mild. Think about tasting. Think about what you're eating with that right there. Just think about it. What do you taste? If you had to guess, so what that, do you think that is? That's very smooth. Very smooth. If you had to guess, what do you think that one is? I'm guessing maybe the mangrove. <laughs> 
It's mangrove. That is the mangrove. It's okay. The mangrove. That um, you know, had a one in three chance. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, but but, but hey, that means know. we're getting to that Jack Corvette. <laughs> <laughs> we're getting to the Jack. Come so, on. So there again, this one had the butteriness mm-hmm. to it, Buttery. and very smooth again. Yep. Smooth. But wow. Still again. You could tell that you're eating fish. Not 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 fishy, but, but you could fish. tell that it's fish. Oh, yeah. yeah. You can tell it swims, but that's good. That's good. Yep. All right. We're down to two. I didn't expect to be eating all of these, John. I thought I'd eat I one. I thought I'd and, eat and, and run, and, yeah, but, yeah, but yeah, I'm but having tough. a good time eating all. I mean, I, I kind of, I contemplated giving us more. There is more. But I was like, I don't know about this. I don't know how this is going <laughs> to taste. So I made a little bit of it. So, uh, yeah. So that's that's three three rolls each that we've. Yeah, you've eaten all. I mean, we're we're we're, we're narrowing it down here. Yeah. <laughs> so, all right. Are we doing middle or the bottom? Middle. Going middle. Okay. Going middle. Going middle. Mmm. Good. So we're we're cleaning mm, the palate again. Oh, good. Uh-huh. Yeah, that middle was good. Mmm. Mmm. You still seem to have three, John, in the middle. Oh! I, did I tell a fish story? I, I think I My need a bad. little more wasabi. My, for, I, for, think, for, I think more for, for, for wasabi. What you're, <laughs> what you're alluding to right here, John, oh, without you know coming man. out and saying it. I'm going to eat my little fishy here. <laughs> my little design fishy. All right. You ready? Okay. Mmm, good. All right. I am... Uh, Why aren't you holding one? Okay, hold on. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, go ahead. No? Come on, John. Oh, oh, oh. I don't know about all this. Th- th- we, we do this together. You ready? Uh, all right, one, uh, two, three. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> what makes you think this is the bad one? I didn't tell you which one it was. <laughs> hmm. That one is extremely chewy. Um, I'm not going octopus chewy, but that is chewy. You know, but I'll try another one. Let's, let's try another one here. I got to get this full on. Ah. That was, um, out of all of them so far, that is the oddest consistency. But I will tell you this. Not bad. Just that, I mean, it's it's the chewiest all right, I one. I got to think about this. So... God, that's chewy. Um, all right, let's think about this for a second. Okay, so the fish is chewy. Yeah. Which one do you think that is? <laughs> what do we have left? The jack and what? Oh, the permit. Possibly the permit. That's the jack. It is the jack. That's the jack. That's bro. the jack. I put the jack in the middle. So. You know, like jack in the middle box. It's not awful. So and this is this is the one I was afraid of. It, it's not awful, but so it is chewy. Now, if I had to say, mm, mm, you know, <laughs> if I had to say what that tasted like, I would say that it. You know how butter is butter, but you've got like parquet that's not butter, <laughs> margarine. Margarine. So if I had to say chewy margarine, yeah. does that ring a bell? <laughs> um, so the jack tastes like chewy margarine. So I'm, I'm and, not. And, unless you're doing a little subdiffuse reverse zabida right here. That was the one that I was really scared of. And um, it wasn't bad. No. The consistency is the off. Out of all of them, that has the oddest consistency. It's very, very chewy, but flavor-wise was not, it wasn't horrible. I'm not dying. Uh-oh, what happened? Um, so, <laughs> yeah. What? So, <laughs> Are you, if no? I had to, so no. Okay. No, 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 no. But if I, I think that was almost like the first person to eat an oyster. Yeah, you know, yeah, but 
maybe I can try this again, but I don't know if I had to put that one into perspective. If everything else ahead of it was on the menu, I'm going to eat that first. If I was starving, that I would, know that I could eat that. Yeah, if I was starving, I could eat yeah, that. Yeah. That's not, it's not, on a scale of one to ten, I would say that's a five. <laughs> well, which that, is, that implied that there was some not goodness there. No, 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 it's not not good. It's weird. All right, there we go. So some so, of our comments say right here, Big Daddy Shane says Jack will be the best sushi, not fishy at all. See, and, and he's kind of he's kind of right. It's not fish. It's not. I mean, you could tell um, that you're eating a fish. But, it's chewy. Uh, yeah. It, oh, it was extremely chewy. It's chewy. So if you had to perspect, if you eat an oyster and it's chewy, <laughs> there you go. Somebody you make know. a Chewbacca voice. He said. <laughs> 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 So John, that just leaves us with the permit. Uh-huh. And then now this is uh, now we, now we, we know either we saved the best for last or we saved a fish for last. So being is that a Jack Cravel and a permit, very muscular, same shape almost yep. kind of fish. I it's imagine a, the texture is gonna, gonna be, be kind chewy. of the same. I'll bet you it's chewy. But, but how cool would this be if it was buttery? Oh, that oh. boy, if it tastes like crab, like they eat oh. crab, if shrimp and crab, what's what they eat. Oh. Could, I mean, that's why I kind of left this one for last, but let's see. So this this one we know going in is the... Uh, this is the permit. The permit. Here we go. Mm. That's pretty darn good. It's chewy. Nowhere near like the Jack. Nowhere near like the Jack. It's like a field of fresh flowers. The consistency that grew up in the dump where the Jack was. The, the, <laughs> <laughs> it was the, right next door to the, the dump where the Jack was. The consistency's odd because I feel like it's sticking to my teeth. I don't know if it's you're stuck in the to same. my teeth. Yeah. So yeah. The, the, it, it's. It's odd. It's, it's, it's odd. It's sticky. Yeah. You know. It's, um, it's definitely odd. Wow. Huh. I was hoping it would be better, but it's not bad by any measure. I like it. No, no, no. Yeah, no, not. Try and, that. You like mayonnaise wasabi? Uh, no. Okay, I mean, I mean, a, li- a little bit a little there. Bit, yeah. yeah. But that's uh, pretty good. Not bad. A little heat to it. The texture is nowhere near the jack. Yeah. So, which is surprising, being very similar. But it, uh, wow. it has a slight fishness it to does. it. It does. It has yeah. fish. It is fishy. What do you think? We caught the weird one? No, 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 not at all. We, we caught the one that eats shrimp because oh, yeah. that's what we caught them. <laughs> I can kind of taste shrimp with this one a little uh, bit. Hmm. Yeah, rotten shrimp. So there we go. Dad, dad, Daddy, I cleaned my plate. Uh, <laughs> I cleaned my plate, bro. Man. So. All right, we're going to McDonald's. We'll see you guys <laughs> later. Y'all have a good one. And whoever wins the thing, come get it from Gap's <laughs> All right, so let me, uh, that, that one is weird uh, consistency in your mouth. So it's, how long uh, before the stomach starts getting grumbly if it's bad? If it's going to be food poisoning, generally 12 hours. Oh. Now, we got to wait that long? For, for food poisoning. Now, oh. if we just pick up parasites or worms, I mean, we, we could have this forever. Forever, ever. Oh. So, so somebody said but, but, earlier but today, ha- have the ivermectin ready. Yeah, so you've got <laughs> yeah. some of that, right? Hey, shh, don't be telling what I got. <laughs> you don't have any ivermectin? <laughs> uh, maybe. You know, but hell, people are killing for that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> I'll see you, too, about the back door of uh, ivermectin. Oh, man. Um, four, four hours for food poisoning. Huh. Mm, the five mm-hmm. times I've had it, I could count it on my watch. It was going to be 12 hours. Yeah, <laughs> that, uh, um, that's that's kind of hot. Let's see. Oh, it's hot in here. <laughs> <laughs> I feel kind of hot. I, 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 I want to read some of these comments, yeah. <laughs> but uh, it's small right there. So there we go. Eric researched these effects. Oh, <laughs> there yeah. we go. Yeah. I think we might have. <laughs> Are we going to die? Tailing pioneers. There we go. Oh, hmm. 
will Missy and Stacy be doing the next show? It was the weirdest um, thing. Both of them up their... Bonnie got a call to up our insurance. Is that weird? Is that weird? The Bonnie. women called Bonnie and set up their insurance a little bit. We'd like to get the, the, oh, the yeah. bonus package. <laughs> 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 and Bonnie said, no. <laughs> it's not the way this works. <laughs> yeah, there we go. And the Red Winds, we don't cook them at my house anymore, strictly for sushi night. Well, there really? you go. Yeah, that's uh Wow. I, and I'm not going to lie, John. Out of the, the five items that we ate, knowing that one or two of them might have been absolutely disgusting, I am pleasantly surprised. I, nothing was disgusting. At, at not all. even the no, jack. No, nothing was bad. Even yep. even the jack, which I was Now, had I kept that eel, the catfish, the ladyfish, and the oh. skate that I yeah. caught. It could have been, maybe. could have been bad. <laughs> so, <laughs> so there we go, John. But again, we don't condone any of this now, so this is just something that we as uh tailors tried for y'all i and if we're not here next wednesday you know what happened i to believe believe it or not in the succession that we ate it is how i would rank it really so interesting from the red the red, first, yeah. red yeah. the sea bass the mangrove the mangrove the jack, jack. And that that's how i'd rate them i, I would yeah I would say so. I, uh, to, to be honest. Yeah, to be honest, I think I'd go that. That would be my selection, too, which kind of odd because that's not the way I set it up. <laughs> well, no, well, you had no idea. I had no idea. <laughs> but now yeah, you say that, I almost have to vote that way. The, uh, the, the red by far was absolutely spectacular. 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 I mean, blew my mind. Now I know why you can only keep one because they're <laughs> that good to eat. Wrong. I am a sushi eater, but I love my tunas yep. and I salmon. love my salmons. Yep. You know, I don't get into the white fish because it's too fishy, yep. all that good stuff. But I could have ate any of what we just had now in a restaurant. I love been perfectly mackerel. fine. Oh, yeah. I love mackerel. You know, oh, so. mackerel spectacular. I, I was told last night by Captain David that um, Captain Dave, he, he said zero mackerel yes. is some of the best, best you'll, ever you, eat. you'll yep. get. And unfortunately, Zero's we don't catch them here yeah, we don't get down zeros, south. So. But uh, man. So there you have it. Wow. We did it. Um, if you don't hear from us in the next time, if we're not here, we're not next, here next week, you know, <laughs> cautionary tale. This was the end <laughs> of go. the end. <laughs> All right. Well, John, we got through another one. Uh, I think we we covered everything I think we were going to cover. So there we go. Let's. Oh, there you go. You know it's good. Compliments uh -oh. to the chef. <laughs> Could that be bad? I don't so, know where that came from. So, John. Is it, are they sure four hours or 12 oh. hours? What's, what, what's the number on this? <laughs> oh, God. It all depends. Maybe, I feel hot. Maybe seafood's different. I think I feel hot. But, John, so we can actually get to the Blackwater and eat a meal. Let's all go right. ahead and Goodbye. show them what they're going to win tonight. All right. From our friends at Aquatic Nutrition, Flats Magic. There we go. Oh, man. Some Jim Jigs with the new V-Lock The V-Lock design. And uh, I dropped some. You did drop something. What was yeah, it? Yeah, that was the... Uh... You too can sharpen your knife with this here knife sharpener. There you and go. And since I were sharpening knives, why don't we just give you a knife? Bam! Bam! Just like that. The cut your sushi up. knife right Cut there. your sushi up there. And it's even got its own little sharpener that comes with it. Bada bing, bada boom. I don't feel so good. <laughs> <laughs> not going to lie to you. I do not feel so good. Oh, wow. Well, you know, you don't, <laughs> you, you, you don't ever feel good. Nope, so. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> It's not my stomach. Uh, of course I upped the coverage. I knew oh. you all were doing it tonight. <laughs> That's good stuff. <laughs> oh, man. And, and, uh, next week, it'll be Bonnie. <laughs> as we do this from Seven Rivers. Yep, yep, uh, right. yeah. It's Bonnie. <laughs> all right. <Stay> right. <laughs> so, John, as you know, uh, we've been, uh, uh, we, 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 we take the first five correct answers to tonight's question. We write your name down on the sheet of hat paper, and then we put it in the bucket, and we draw. So, tonight's question, easy peasy question. So easy. First five right answers. Now you have to name see. it exactly right. Well, it has to be the right kind of species. You just can't say general. It has yeah, to be the right species. Gotta be right. There we go. So, what is the world's most expensive sushi species? Permit. Again, what is the world's most expensive 
sushi species? Mangrove? <laughs> the first five right answers get their name in the hat it's for tonight's red drawing. Fish? No. No. Oh. <laughs> All right. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> It's true. It, it is Doro. <laughs> That's the good stuff. Uh, Denise. And Dan. There we go. All right. So we've got five folks for the bucket right here. All right. The correct answer we were looking for, uh, and there were some fancy ones thrown in there, but we were looking for this experience. Explicitly was bluefin tuna. A bluefin tuna recently sold one fish now, one fish sold for $3.1 million. Wow. One fish. Bluefin tuna. I had tuna. that tuna. <laughs> there we go. Because I can get a new boat. All right, John. So we've got Dan, we got Denise, we got Jessica, we got Andrew Wood, and we got Roger going in the, nice. uh, going in the bucket here. Doo, 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 doo. We're giving it a shake, and Big John's gonna get the draw. <laughs> if I bring it down where he can draw from it, there we go. Who do we have? Denise. Denise is tonight's big winner. Congratulations, Denise. Way to go. Way to be on point, I right there. I think I got there. worms. <laughs> well, if you didn't have worms before, can you've you get got worms them now? <laughs> can you get worms from this? Yes, of course. Okay. Yeah. But worms make you lose weight, right? Sure. Okay. You're, you're, you're well on your way, John. Do I have tapeworm, or what kind of worm is this? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I don't know. But we did it. We got through it. Um, you're going to eat what? We ate it. <laughs> so we had a good time. Interesting episode. Huh. Uh, didn't you know? We, it didn't work exactly how we planned, but by God, we said we were going to do it, so we had to put up or shut up, and by God, we did it. And but did you die? Did you die? <laughs> All right, John, let's do this. <laughs> Weeby Tailing is brought to you by Shasty McNasty Fishing. Caps Cove Outfitters. And Naughty Tails. Jim's Jigs. Filets All Blades. Aquatic Nutrition. Tailing Toads. And Plash Lights. Carrie's Custom Rods. Bonnie from State Farm. The Caddy Can. Native nautical mailboxes. <laughs> and the new and approved Salt Life. You also will get your very own specialized uh, Salt Life code, Denise, so, uh, where you can order something at a discount from Salt Life as yourself in tonight's package. So, And don't forget to visit Jim's Sushi Kitchen. <laughs> there you go. All right, guys. Peace out. Love you. <laughs>